Hi, welcome back to Allen Bradley PLC Test Bench. Today we're going to be testing the 1794IR8. This is the 8 channel, 3 wire RTD input module, which is a resistive thermocouple device. It's uh, very easily done. What we're using here today is a PLC 540E. It's hooked up onto remote I.O. And we've got the screen all set up to show the setup screen and how we're, uh, we're reading it. Now, this is an 8 channel, but I've only got 5 RTDs, but that's simple enough. You just do 5, and then you swap it over and do the other ones in the next set of, of testing. So, you're testing all 8 channels like you have to do on everything with these modules. So anyhow, we'll get swung around here and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to start out with the uh, screen. So everything is set up, and again, this is a PLC-5. Just zoom out of here a little bit. We've got our block transfer read and write. It's picked automatically when we went into our I.O. configuration. Now, as you can see, we'll just zoom back into there. There is our, our channels, and we're currently testing channels 3 through 7. Now, if I take one of the RTDs in my hand, and we'll just grab this one here, and you can see, probably not very well, that channel number 3 is slowly clocking up. It's now at 27 degrees Celsius. And the rest are sitting 24, 22, 23, depending on how they're sitting on the bench. So we can we know that's working. So if I really wanted to do a, a big test on them, I'd have a bucket of ice, drop them in that, see what it does, take a heat gun, go over top of them. But with these modules, if you're reading up and down, just using your hand on the end of the RTD, you know it's good. So now what we'll do is we'll just swing around here to the wiring. And here we go. Back out a little bit. Now, like I say, I have, I'm going to smooth the microphone out of the way. What we have here is five RTDs. Three of them match this way, two of them match that way. They're all 100 ohm platinum US. You wire them up here with, let's see if we can get, zoom in a little more. You, taking this one here, you use white, red, and then red goes on the appropriate uh, terminal down below. So everything is wired the same, everything works the same, and you know that everything is good because you can take and you've got your temperature and it's, it's uh, on and off. Now one of the things I noticed today when I was testing, because this is, it's, I've got five of these I'm testing today, and so we go back here. Now I'm going to power down the ASB. So there's no 24 volts on there. Now as you can see nothing here is changing and I uh, because it, the ASB is off. I power the ASB back up and you see how everything went to zero. Now we're getting spurious numbers all over the place. What you have to do if your ASB goes down and comes back up or you lose your 24 volts and comes back up. What I've done is I've wired in a, off my simulation card, a one shot to toggle the right, which puts in all of your configuration into the module. So if I hit that, gives a one shot, gives a right, you can see how the numbers there changed into the current values. So there we go. That's all there is to testing an IR8. It's just a matter, and then what I do for sale is make sure that I do a print screen, show those channels, go to the other channels, do the same thing again, show those channels, and include that information with the module when it's sold to you, the customer. So there we go. That's uh, hopefully a nice quick one. And come back again anytime. Um, I hope to get some more uh, videos posted here in the next week. I've got a whole pile of modules I just got in and have to test them, so... Any that I don't have documented will be. Subscribe if you'd like and come back often. Thank you.